mast cell tumors must be excised with wide surgical margins. In this case here, you can see we use a tool to measure three centimeters and we mark these areas with the laser and we use those marks to help us with our excision around this lump, again, three centimeters in all directions. And you can see that the laser is very precise in helping us with our excision. Keep in mind that while it's precise and powerful, we do not harm any of the tissues around where we are firing the laser. This is the advantage of the laser. Here you can see it's starting to look almost complete. And the next step will be to use the high power laser for dissection underneath to get all this tissue out and to send it to the pathologist. And here you will see shortly what it looks like to make a bloodless excision of a mast cell tumor. It looks very clean and it gives us the advantage of being able to see things well, and here's how it looks. We begin with our dissection underneath the skin where this mast cell tumor is. Using the high power laser, we remove the fat, the subcutaneous tissues, and you can see there's also some fascia that sits right on top of the muscle layer that we do not want to harm. Keep in mind, this is in the shoulder area here where this lump is. Now we have almost completed our excision here and we have not harmed the important shoulder muscles underneath. Once this has been completed, we will then use the laser to help us loosen this flap. Here we're firing it on the subcutaneous tissue to help us loosen the flap so that when we close our flap, there will not be excessive tension, which is exactly what we want in this area of the shoulder. Once this has been completed, we'll be able to close it nicely. And here you can see what it looks like. And thankfully the report came back with a complete excision.